What up, what up, what up? Waiting on Steve to hop on here. Let's see if we can get him on here. Steve, you here? First time going live, trying to figure this out. There he is. What up, bro? Yo. You got me? Man, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Can you hear me? Yes, man. My bad. My bad. Finishing up, finishing up the recovery day, man. So I'm in nah, the truck. Really... truck. <laughs> got to get that in for sure. Come on now. Yeah, we got some. We already got some folks on. Um, shout out. Shout out, man. Love. Let's see who we got. Got G and Cool, Mar, Big J. What up? What up, boy? I'm in the seven on seven family. Y'all better tap in. Yep. Try to do something different. Do a little, you know, little Q and A, a little talk, you know, wide outs and tight ends, all that good stuff. Um, and any questions y'all got too, uh, y'all can drop them in here too. First off, um, to before we start, you know, shout out, you know. MLK Day, happy MLK Day to everybody. And a uh, big shout out to Lee. Real big shout out to Lee, man. One of our own, especially. especially. Yeah. <laughs> well, big shout don't out let, to don't Lee. Don't let him know yet. Don't <laughs> let him know yet. Yeah, big, big Lee making moves. So stay tuned for that. Big, big news coming soon for, sure. for big, big five. So um, not, it's, it's huge for him. So. Let's talk, man. Tell me what's going on this Saturday, bro. What's going on this Saturday? Tell me, you know. Yeah, so this the, Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. Okay, first, yeah, first, first wide out crew camp. Um, you know, want to do something for the community, get get people involved. Um, got a few spots left, so if you ain't signed up yet, um, you got a little bit of time. I think you got about four spots left. So just bringing out, you know, bringing out some guys, uh, trying to get some good quality work, um, you know. And try to get back. So that's what we're doing. So we'll be at uh Showtime Sports Arena in Cool Springs. Um, you know, nice little indoor um route running, catching, releases, footwork, some game IQ, um, and just get some good quality work for about a good two good two hours. I hate the the Titans game starting the same time about three thirty. We're gonna miss it, but hey, hopefully they get the dub and we'll be in the AFC championship. We you know, we'll catch them on the back end. So uh, they, they should be straight. Hopefully, man. I'm hoping we can. Uh, I think we'll we'll play whoever plays um, either the Kansas City and Pittsburgh game, right? Um, no, nah, we'll play the winner of the Bills in Kansas City. Kansas City, oh, but yeah, man. The uh, yeah, the the, uh, the Chiefs took care of that. They took care of Pittsburgh. All right, man. Uh, his bar with. <laughs> yeah, they they shouldn't have been there. They took care of that easy money. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll be locked and loaded on Saturday at five, at four. Um, so if you if you signed up, I see you there. Um, if not, go ahead and you know tap in wideoutcrew.com. You'll find it. Um, before that before that uh gets gets too full. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of what we got going. Um, and then from there, you know, kind of talk about what we got going this summer. Yeah, man. I want to elaborate more on Saturday, just like always, you know, Ruben, you know, myself, we always going to bring the education um, to the training. And, you know, like if you you one of those guys, you kind of like in between trying to, you know, land a spot somewhere, you know, on a, on a college depth chart, you know, somewhere and, you know, you need to elevate your game man. definitely get with the right people, man. You can you can vouch, you know, as well, Ruben. I remember coming up and um, 
just really looking for somebody who can just help elevate my game. You know, I was talented. I know how to, um, you know, do the basics in my position, but it was just something that was missing. And when I was, you know, when I was coming up, I, I didn't see, you know, people like yourself, like a Ruben or myself. And like now we're in a position that we can kind of give back, man, definitely get with, you know, the guys that can, you know, help elevate, you know, where you're at and build your tracks. You know, man, take advantage, you know, this Saturday, take advantage of this coming uh, summer. I mean, we didn't do, um, I think we could have be did a better a job, you know, better job getting, you know, the summer wide out program previously just out, just showing like, man, the drills and the education behind, you know, what we, we really had going on. So I'm very excited for year two this summer and, you know, just, just, just all the stuff that we got coming, you know, yeah. Here soon. What, yeah. For you. Uh, what up? What up? Big, big chance. Appreciate you, dog. Um, oh, it was order. Yep. Big show time. Hey, it's time. Yes, sir. Shout out. Yep. Uh, Owensville, man. Very talented young guy. Yeah. But I was going to ask you, Steve, what do you see? Just in today's wideouts, as far as we talk about, we talk young guys first. So the middle school, high school guys. What's the biggest downfall or just biggest thing that's holding a lot of guys back, in your opinion? So I mean, let's let's just let's just really hit the like. So let's let's just really be transparent. So like the difference from when we was playing to now is just like man, that dog mentality. Uh, no offense, no disrespect to anybody right now. That's currently in high school or in college is just like back when we were playing, you know, people had that dog mentality. People really had a heart. And like the kids nowadays, no fish, you know, they're kind of, mm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be respectful. They kind of <laughs> Tell it like it is, bro. So, you know, they, they not really like ready to put the work ethic in to kind of, you know, get to where they want to be. Like this stuff doesn't come overnight. Um, that's the reason why I kind of posted what Devontae, um, Devontae said, you know, Devontae Adams said, he's just like, yeah. I don't go out here and do all these fancy little cone drills. You know, I don't really put my work out all the time is because I'm out here. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what translates to the field. I'm out here running routes full speed. You know, I'm only doing work that translates to the field. And right now with the internet, you know, a lot of stuff get lost and a lot of stuff, you know, we, you know, the young generation, you know, with the internet, we kind of get caught up on what's fancy, you know, yeah. that type of era we live in back when we was coming up, you know, the internet went just like that, you know, the only way we was going to get better, guess what? You got to go work. You, you got to go out there in the backyard, go to the park. Yeah. It's that, that, that dog mentality is kind of getting lost because now the, the younger, you know, athletes are kind of, they want everything handed to them. No fence, you know, yeah, the skill now the skill with the internet it helps because the skill level to the average high school athlete, you know, it has risen from when we played, right? But you know, yeah. working that you know that discipline, staying you know consistent, their work ethic is just it's not the same. So it's just like, yeah. like, and then that's why it's just like, you know, people like ourselves is good to kind of you know help getting you know our knowledge out there to kind of help you know. Look, man, you still got to be disciplined. You still got to yeah. got to be hungry for it, man. Just because you're getting applauded, accolades, you know, everybody in your ear telling you how good. But guess what? These boys out here in California, these boys out here in Florida, you know, they might be better than you. You know, just because you you the big dog down here, are you the big dog globally? You know, yeah. so yourself apart from all the rest of two billion, two million um wideouts out here. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, got to separate yourself. Your work that your work is yeah. going to a long way, you know. No, that's facts. Um, and back well, to but, your point, back yeah, back to your point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know what you said about you know Devontae. You know he's probably the the best receiver in the league. Um, but you know his that quote, you know, and you could take it both ways. I mean, there is some benefits to you know doing some different types of drills and cone drills and that nature that translates, like you said, that translates to the game. But at the same time, like it's really simple. Like with a lot of stuff. Um, that I see, whether you play quarterback, whether you play running back, O-line, D-line, DB, receiver, whatever, um, the game is simple, but it's it's really not complicated. It's just you got to you gotta take those intangible things, the little things, and, and hone on them and keep, like you said, consistency, doing them over and over again. Run a, run a slant route 100 times, run a post route 100 times, 
run a corner 100 times, run a dig 100 times, run a curl, come back, like simple stuff. And then once you got kind of got that foundational layer, then you can add on the the fancy stuff, the the things that, you know, can kind of take your game um, even more. And, and that stuff, that's the thing, too, for a lot of the stuff that's on the Internet now. Um, and no knock to nobody, no knock to anybody's hustle or anybody's grind, but it's not needed at the lower levels, middle school, high school. The stuff that these pros are working on is because they look at every single detail in the game um, to, to try to get an advantage. So, I'm, you know, if I know he's playing super inside leverage and I don't watch Jalen Ramsey's tape for every game that he played against this certain receiver, release inside and do this and – yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. It's all good, but it's like, does that translate to your specific skill set? Does that translate to your game to where you are as a, as a wide out? So I think it's a good and a bad thing because you get exposed to how a professional, the best that do it at your level, how they think and how they kind of walk through it. But at the same time, it may not apply to you right now. You may need to just work on the foundational things. Um, so that's kind of how I look at it. No, nah, absolutely, man. You you talking as we like to call it the toolbox, you know. So like, yeah. And it's different departments, toolbox that we always kind of like um, talk about, especially if you ever train with us. You know, we talk about the toolbox and you know all types of stuff that we talk about. So it's just like, man, don't get kind of lost where everybody else is and just where you are. Like we always say, kind of um, choose somebody that's got a similar gameplay to you. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of figure out, you know, what, what what can you take away from that game since they got the same, uh, you know, body styles yourself. You know, we always talk about that. We always preach that to our young guys. And yeah. one guy that I used to admire and always want to be like uh, was just Larry Fitzgerald. You know, man, his route running was the bar. He was the bigger set guy. Um, you know, wasn't the fastest, wasn't the slowest, you know, so like, People like him or, like, if I was a young guy in that same body frame, like A.J. Brown, you know, like, I'm really trying to figure out what makes that guy great, you know. So just, like, really doing film study. And, and, and in the future, hopefully, you know, we'll figure that out, how we can get the X's and O's to these wide outs coming soon. But, yeah, man, just have a good foundation of kind of, like, where you are, where you need to get better, and then who can actually get you there. Because, like, yeah, you know it's not necessarily just all about one thing, you know. But it's like for instance, when I say one thing, just like speed, or I need to do just route running, or I need to, nah, it's a combination. You know, you might lack basic performance of of you know, let's say when I say performance, it's like you might lack in speed or mobility and this and that. You might need to focus more on that before you come focus on your skill position work, because yeah. like. You know, that goes hand in hand. And so it's just like, it's get with the right guys that can help mold you. But yeah, man, you know, like I keep saying, I'm excited for the summer. I'm excited for the future. And, you know, I'm excited to just keep helping, you know, these young, you know, athletes that need the help, bro. Yeah. So, nah, like you said too, but like you said too before, like I was looking for, for people like us when I was coming up to, to work with. Like I had, to, I had the opportunity to work with. Um, some good people, um, but it wasn't like it is now. Um, it's so many resources out here and just people that know the game, play the game, um, and can translate it at a, at a you know at a at a good at a good level. Um, so for me, like I got it, I, I was able to train with Coach Graves. He coached for um, Utah. He coached for the Titans. Mm -hmm. He coached for the Chargers. So I, I learned a lot from him. And to be honest, like it was all foundational stuff, like just the, the basic principles of, of wide out play, nothing fancy, nothing. Like yeah. I thought I was going to go into it and have to like learn a whole new thing. But I was like, all right, some of this stuff I kind of knew, but I didn't think it was that important. But it's like, if you can do that simple stuff at a high level, it makes everything that much easier. Um, and then, you know, I had the pleasure to go against like some older guys at the time. I, forget, I think the guy's name was Eric Brown. He played for Franklin High School at the time. He was a DB. Mm -hmm. And I was like in seventh, eighth grade going up against them. That's another thing, like, if you're not going against somebody or going against a DB, like, during your sessions or, like, just testing out, like, where you are, like, you don't know where you are until a Friday night, and by then it's it's too late. <laughs> Working, and, 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 like, um, one thing I used to think of, um, especially, you know, I got a little taste, you know, 
working with some professional athletes was, and this is another thing we, we you know, we're going to keep vouching to our younger guys. If you run the same route, three different ways, that makes you a professional, man. It's so hard to do. Like, running a slant, a slant right, I mean, a slant route, three different ways. Yeah. It just practice, practice, practice on the route. Because it's just like, it's not pretty, man. It's not pretty. I'm, I'm telling you, I used to hate it too, man. Literally just going out here practicing the same thing, man. People don't want to do that, but that's what it takes, man. Just the basic stuff, the foundation stuff over and over, just working your craft until it becomes like second nature, man. Like literally, you know, mm -hmm. I was out there in Florida, man, it's 10 of us. And this went to the UCF court. Man, can you hear me? I think I lost you back. You good? Can you hear me? Yeah. So, like, yeah. Um, the UCF coordinator, he, he, he's now with the Green Bay Packers. He told us, he was like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know if you're a professional athlete, if you can run the same route three different ways. Man, I take that to heart. I'm out there. Mm -hmm. every oh, man, how can I do this? You used to be dead dog tired, bro, just out here trying to figure out how to do this. And it's hard. It's really hard to do, yeah. bro. Stuff's not always nah. pretty, but, you know, you stick with it. It's going to take you nah, a that's long. facts. That's facts. Let's see what we got in here still. And if y'all got questions, too, man, definitely definitely let us know. We're going to stay on for a couple more minutes. Um, just keep chopping up game, answer any questions y'all got. And we're going to try to keep doing this, like, once a week, twice a week, um, sure. you know, and kind of kind of, kind of give back some game, kind of talk ball, talk life, talk, you know, whatever it is that's, that's relevant, so. Who's your? I gotta, I gotta ask you. Who's your? Who's your? Who's your top out right now, man? Right now. Right now. Right now. Active. Man. Active. I mean, you probably already know, but definitely have to go with with Devonte. Um, man. just Why? off, just Reason. off of, yeah, just off of production one. So like, I know we didn't have this conversation. Like, oh man, Julio, he still, you know. That's still like that's your dog, but at the same time, I, I'm looking at all right, what you doing? Body of work as far as right now, this season, yeah. last season, year before that, like that having that durability and consistency to me is important. Uh, but at the same time, after after that piece, it's like all right, are you getting open? Do you make plays? Um, I tell the story all the time too. In college, I did a uh, I did a report on NFL receivers um, production based on contract size. Um, and what pretty much I found out was kind of based on the modeling I was doing was that I think it was just, I think this is 2014. So I think at the time it was like, you know, Demarius Thomas, um, I think D hop was, was, was coming up. Um, I'm trying to think who else I want to say, I want to say Odell was kind of coming up. I could be wrong though, but I remember Demarius Thomas for sure. Um, but pretty much was like the receivers that had the most receiving yards, in combination with TDs, were the guys that had the that had the biggest contracts. They don't. Um, yeah, the guys that had the most receiving yards in combination with touchdowns had the biggest contracts. Um, so for me, that was a I want to say I was a sophomore in college at the time. And I did that out there. All right, I need to focus on how can I get open, get yards, and get to get to pay dirt. Because uh, ultimately, that's why you play the game is to score touchdowns um, and win the game. So. It's like if you can if you can make that impact felt from from a, from especially from a receiver position where you might get three targets a game, but if you take at least one of them to to the crib, it's like your your stock is a lot higher. You're more valuable to the team. Um, so that's where Yak comes into play, um, being able to be reliable. Quarterback trust you. Um, Brent Stewart said Renfro the best out. I mean, <laughs> hey, he that boy working. Like he a little Cooper Cup for real, for real. Um, but in his own right, to be honest. Um, sure. But yeah, that's 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 what I, that's what I would go. And, and based on that, like Monte consistently topping yardage, topping touchdowns. So it just kind of goes hand to hand to me. Yeah. So that's how you get paid at the next level. Uh, TDs. They care about TDs and yards after catch. And like um, when you're on the draft board, bro, they they look at your career yards after catch. What do you average? Mm -hmm. um, so you know that's kind of you know. 
what the next level is looking for. So, like, even right now, if I, like, I'm a high school guy, a college guy, I'm trying to figure out, man, how can I, you know, maximize my yards after catch? How can I get in the end zone a little bit more? How can I make my, my, my stock, you know, more valuable? So it's just like, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, just tapping in with people who can help elevate your game or give you that knowledge or, like, for instance, just, like, on a hitch, catch it, get outside, you know, because – you beat this corner. The only person left is the safety right here. You beat the safety you to the crib. So just like. Crib. Yep. And it's funny. It's funny you said that because I told Lee that um, probably midway through the season. I said, bro, like he was kind of upset about targets and man, I'm only getting three, four targets a game. I said, that's what you're going to get. Like you might not, you might not get but one. So I told him, I said, look, if you want the ball more, when you touch it, like take it to the crib. And literally what? the next game, the next game, he took a hitch to the crib. He took a, I think he took a screen to the crib. Yeah. So it's like, and after that, it's like, all right, more here, here comes some more targets for you. Here, maybe the five, six target games, and then it's like, all right, I got more to work with. But it's like, can you take, can you take those hitches, take those slants, take those screens, 80, 70, 60 yards on um, the pay dirt, um, and that's what's really going like elevate you. So focusing on, like you said, maybe I need to focus on some speed work. Maybe I need to focus on some strength work. Um, and then once you got that, it's like, all right, now I can. I can I can put that into all right. I catch a hitch. I'm thinking about getting vertical break and tackle. Make make a man miss. Um, and, and can got, I have the ability and the skill set to to get to um, the, get to the end zone. So yes, sir. Yeah, Big G asks, uh, what's your favorite route concept? R- route concept like two yeah. by two, like um, any. You said any. I think any could be full full concept three by one, two by two. That's a good question, man. I'm not gonna lie. It just let's. I, I like uh, I like um, like first like first down. I like the like a two by two. Like I like I like starting it off easy, man. Let's 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 go like a slant, you know, slant smash route. But like when we get to the goal line, I love the bunch and then like crossers. Um, and really showing love to the tight end and fullback. So it's just like, I don't know. I really like the X's and O's, as you know. Mm-hmm. But I like OC. I'm going to say, if you, say if you had to pick one. Oh, man. I would say. Uh, I'm about to say, and why you think about it, too, like this is stuff that you need, like, especially as a receiver coming up, you need to understand offense. Like, you need to understand this stuff. Like, yeah, know your position, but if you know the whole offense. Then you, you ain't thinking like you just playing ball. Um, and then at any wherever you at, football is the same. It's just different terminology. I say it's all the time. Whoever you people train with us, they know. I say it's all the time. Like football is all, plays and all that stuff is the same. Same concepts with different names, different rules, but people get into the same spots at the same time. Um, one coach might call it smash. One right. coach might call it Dallas or whatever, but it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, go ahead. I'm simple, man. I, I, I like the smash concept, man, because it's just like, I don't know. The reason why I like that is just because it's going to show me who, you know, who's got talent, who's don't. Like, on the outside, you're going to see the wide receiver. He ain't going to get his dip. He's going to run the mm-hmm. four, four-yard route, get tackled in a one-yard game. It's just like, who's disciplined? And then, like, how we was coaching, like, at our 707 tryout. On that smash concept, how do you want it? Do you want to take it high? Or do you want to go ahead and kind of bend it kind of down already? It's just like you know, like who who's like who's really like in, you know? As yeah. a guy, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like it took me time to really focus on those details to elevate, elevate. Can't even talk. Elevate my game. Yeah. But I had to do a lot of studying. I had to do a lot of practicing. I had to make the game be slower so I can perform better. So it's just like, that takes time too. That's another thing I was going to say. Like the biggest thing from like high school to college is just like high school, they might baby a little bit. And college, yeah. it's next man. And pros, each day is like, you liable to be gone. So it's yeah. just. I'm about to say, if you, had, if you had a big high school, it's probably like that. Say what? Well, yeah. Like if, if you, you had in, a big high school. Yeah. yeah. If you in Texas or something like that, I mean, it's like, Next man. So if you already know that, it's just like you got to maximize your opportunity. But to answer your question, man, I just – I like – I'm simple. I like the, the little things. Can you turn the little things into big things? That will let me know if you're great. So Yeah. Go on, yeah. What about yourself? I, I, yeah, I, mean, I probably, 
Yeah, I got a bunch of favorite yeah, concepts. Brave, I had yeah. a lot of stuff going on over there. Yeah. So. Nah, my favorite, I'd say my favorite concept right now is probably um, the Watt Cross concept. So, yeah, the out, of two, out of two by two, I was having, gonna... yeah, having having number two or most inside guy on strong side, run the, you know, run the crosser, number one, running the, the dig or post curl, or whatever you want to run off of it. Um, and backside, kind of like a just a you know a fade concept, hitch hitch uh, slot fade or corner corner hitch or how you want to run it. Um, I love that concept though. Just got the got a speedy shifty guy or a big guy going across the middle, kind of taking that safety attention over. Especially if you got one high, then you got the dig or the the post curl coming off the backside. So um, just reading that thing left to right is one of my favorite ones um, for sure. Now that's solid. And another thing I was gonna say, man, tight ends. Um the time for tight ends are here, man. As you can see. I'm about to say big big Jake on here. Look. Right. Shout out Jake. I can't see the messages, man. I don't yeah. know. I wonder if I can I can get him on here and see if he wanna say something. Let's see. I, I can't I don't know how this stuff works, bro. Yeah, I think cause I started I can Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see no messages or nothing. I just I just see you, but um, see yeah. You, um, see if you pop up on here. Tap in, Jay. <clears throat> yeah, but if you don't know, Big Jay, tight end at Clemson, freshman, making noise. Um, had a, had a good had a good first year. Definitely not where he want to be yet, but definitely He's a legend, a legend in the making. He's he's gonna be straight, man. I saw his little spring game. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he coming. He's coming. Yeah. We'll see if he can if he can hop on here. Um, I invite him, but he might, not, he might be playing Xbox or something. <laughs> Fortnite, <laughs> man. But yeah, I think we got another question in here too. Um, that dropped in. Somebody asked, "What's the biggest key to success as an athlete in today's generation?" Mm. I'm gonna let you go ahead, Ruben. What's your perspective on that one? Man, I'm gonna read it again. So biggest key to success as an athlete in today's generation. Um, man, I have to kind of agree with what you said earlier. You kind of hit on it. Um, but I think a lot of it is just mindset. So especially with, you know, a lot of it's a lot of noise out here and you know, rivals and you a four star, you a five star and all this and that. Um That's I, tough. I think yeah, I think the biggest thing is mindset because if you buy into, you know, he say, he say, she say, and, oh, he's ranked and he's not ranked and this team is good, this team is not good, uh, we going to ride them or, man, they going to blow us out. Like, either way it go, that can really mess with you. So I think the biggest thing for kids now is just understanding, like, as an athlete, like, you're a competitor. Whoever you lined up against, like, I'm going 110%. I'm not, I'm not holding any mercy back on you. Uh, same thing in practice too. Like I tell my guys the time, all the time. Like, I mean, you can't get better if you're not going 110. percent I don't care if it's your best friend. He's not your best friend in the whistle blow. Uh, so I think that's the biggest thing is just mindset and understanding. Like, you know, not to say like you know the not to not to bite on Kobe, but like the the mama mentality. But like having that mentality, like all right, like if this ball in the air, like it's mine, or you know, I gotta make this block. Like I'm gonna pancake this kid. Like. Just having that mindset of I'm a dog, kind of like you, like you were saying earlier. So I think that's the the biggest key to success is just where you are mentally. Because um, if you ain't got that, if you all in your head, you thinking too much and hesitant, or you worried about what they doing over there, um, or what this what this guy's doing, where he's ranked, like it's gonna mess with you. So um, kind of kind of block all that out and just really trust in your ability um, and be be prepared. So. No, nah, for sure. That's facts, man. You know what? As you was talking about this, man, we got to get Coop on here. I want I want Coop to come on here and share his story. He's one mm-hmm. of the that have that that mentality. You've seen him even before the session's done or before the session. What is he doing? He's out there working by himself. He's out mm-hmm. there do what I need to do. Hey, Coach Steve, what I need to do to get like do was hungry to do it. He didn't wait on nobody. You know, he put the work in. Um, we hey, we got to get Coop on here to share his story. But just yeah, to he, yeah, he was on here earlier. But definitely, oh, was he? Yeah, he was on here earlier. 
Yeah, no, nah, I, I, we got to – I want to get him to speak. But just like, yeah, man, like, no offense. You can literally ask anybody I know, anybody I play with, ask anybody. I'm literally in practice fighting with somebody. It's because of that. Like, I, I'm trying to get better. I'm mm -hmm. out here full speed, you know, like, I love you when these pads are off and we in the locker room. But on this field, man, like, dude, we going to war. Every yeah. game we're going to war. You know, I'm trying to make – you know, I'm really trying to, you know, set myself up and be better, and, you know, be a dominant elite athlete. So it's just like, that's how you got to treat it. It's just like, it's a disconnect, you know, from, you know, how we grew up to now. And yeah, I, I think that's, that's probably the number one thing right now. Yeah. No, that's, I'm with you on that. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like that was a definitely a good question to, we kind of ended on, um, we can be on for about what, 20, 20 or so minutes. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I think, you know, yeah, I'm about to say, can't, can't, can't give them too much free game, but definitely want to, want to give y'all, give y'all something and kind of just do some, you know, every, uh, there, there go Big Lee. He just hopped on here. Um, Duh, man, so just, that. just, yeah, just, just hop on here and, and kind of give everybody some free game and, and kind of see where it goes. Um, so, man, appreciate y'all tapping in. Um, if I say anything you got that you wanna that you wanna hit on before we kind of we kind of sign it off. Yeah, man. A, a, a recap, man. Um, this Saturday, um, as always, you know, Ruben's coming with knowledge this Saturday. I'll be in the building. Some other folks will be in the building. Um, and and another another thing, you know, we we don't do this for anything other than you know you guys. As you know, we're here for you guys. Um, tap in and uh, we just want to say thank you man it's been crazy because we just been front line just working 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 you know I know I want to say thank you I know Ruben is very you know we're, we're very thankful for everybody who's just been rocking with us this past year man seriously not as facts um, but yeah it's definitely more to come um, definitely tap in this this weekend and Saturday um, and then you know this this offseason coming up it'll be it'll be special so um, yeah, Big G said, our receivers tap in. Um, we turn y'all receivers into wideouts, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Thanks. yeah, definitely tap in. But uh, we'll holler at you, Steve, and we'll, we'll hop back on next week, hopefully. So, yeah, absolutely, man. Appreciate you. Yep. All right, boss. All right, y'all. See you guys.